Hey friends, today we are hanging out at Disney's Hollywood Studios. I hear that Star Wars launch bay has reopened and Darth Vader and Chewbacca are both meeting and greeting guests again and I'm so excited. I cannot wait to get a hug from Chewbacca. It's literally one of the best meet and greets you can find on property. And then we're gonna hang out, ride some rides, try some new food and just have a beautiful Hollywood Studios kind of day. Anywho, let's go do this. It is a beautiful day here today at Hollywood Studios. 93 degrees out, a little bit hot, but there's some wind, so that makes it a little bit easier. And I'm just excited to be here. I'm excited to see some of the characters back and just enjoy a Hollywood Studios day. Looks like Donald and Daisy are coming out. Oh, Donald's telling everyone to be quiet. He's sneaking up on Daisy. Look at this. Daisy's like, what? <laughs> it's really amazing seeing a lot of things make their return. A lot of characters are coming back for meet and greets. Restaurants are opening back up. Shows are coming back. And I cannot wait till everything is like 100% again. I mean, we're getting there. Like I said, I am very excited for things to get back to the way they were before. But here at Hollywood Studios, there's still a couple of key things that haven't opened back up. Like Fantasmic. Like, I cannot wait for Fantasmic to be back. Voyage of the Little Mermaid. Now Star Wars Launch Bay has reopened. I think all of the character meet and greets and most of the restaurants have reopened. Maybe some quick service spots and like snack carts. Uh, but I mean, those are the big things. Like we need Fantasmic back and then Hollywood Studios will be 100% again. I feel like Hollywood Studios compared to like Magic Kingdom, Epcot, and Animal Kingdom is the least back to 100%. You know what I mean? Uh, Magic Kingdom, Epcot both have their nighttime shows back. We still have Fantasmic here, but I mean, it's getting there. And I'm excited to go to Launch Bay and meet Darth Vader. I'm actually wearing my Journey to the Dark Side Roosevelt. I figured that was fitting. So uh, I think we're gonna head down there first. As I was making my way down the launch bay, I noticed that Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway has basically like a walk-on. It says it's a 45 minute wait, but there's nobody in queue here. So the queue is immediately inside the theater and that's awesome. That's a good way to kind of, you know, predict how the day might go. Maybe it's gonna be a very uh, easy going day with no long lines. I say that in the hopes that it's not going to be a busy day, but I know that a lot of people are going to be wanting to come out and see Vader and Chewbacca, so I'm sure we're going to see long lines there, but maybe the attractions won't be that bad. And here we are, Star Wars Launch Bay. Do you guys remember when this was a mask relief station? You used to actually go in here to take your mask off, and now the meet and greets are back. I'm also excited to see if the Visa or the Chase Card uh, meet and greet is back. And, oh boy, Encounter with Dark Vader, 50 minute wait. Meet Chewbacca, 30 minutes. I told you, I mean, this is a popular thing that's returning, so I'm excited. Luckily, the 50 minute wait is going to be all indoors and it's going to be nice AC. So we're going to be able to just relax and chill out. And we're going to be able to see uh, Chewbacca and Darth Vader. And I don't know about BB-8 yet though. We, we'll have to see. We'll see about the special uh, chase photo and BB-8 because they're all in this building. They're all in launch bay. As of right now, BB-8 is not back meeting and greeting guests, but he is coming back soon. He, uh, they did announce it. I'm not sure if this is all just a soft opening that we're getting to check out, uh, but they did announce that he is coming back, so hopefully very soon. And it looks like the doors are still shut for the Visa. I keep on saying Visa Chase. It used to be Visa, it used to be Chase, but they have a special meet and greet, and I, it'll probably be Kylo Ren. I don't know if it's gonna be coming back or not. It's usually right there, but no access access denied all right here it is we have chewbacca over here and then we have vader over there and kylo ren was actually there before i mean kylo vader was here first then kylo ren now it's back to vader so i'm excited to see vader again and we're gonna do both of them I think I'm gonna start with Vader instead of Chewbacca. I mean, I know Vader has a longer wait, but there's less people in line to meet Darth Vader than there is Chewbacca, so I don't know how it's a longer wait. There's only 20 people waiting to meet Darth Vader, and there's 35 people waiting to meet Chewbacca, so this has definitely gotta be the lower wait time. 
I'm also curious to see if there's a human photo pass photographer in there or if they're using those like automated like boxes. I like the human photo pass photographers. Bring back the humans. Okay, so that was a five minute wait. <laughs> that went by super fast. Thank you. I've come to show you my journey to the dark side. <laughs> there is loyalty in you, an admirable trait. Ensure that it is not misplaced. Absolutely not. Thank you. And have a wonderful day, Lord Vader. I'm out. Goodbye. That's amazing. <laughs> so there wasn't an actual PhotoPass photographer in there. It was in a box. And when you come out, they have a little machine here. And you have to tap to get your photos. That's what I have to do. Look at those are all my photos right there. See? Isn't that so amazing? But I really I, I missed the PhotoPass photographer. They add a little bit of a better experience. But that's my. Uh, that was my interaction. He was right up in my face. Vader was so intimidating. I even called him Lord Vader because I wanted to kind of gain his trust because, you know, I'm not really for the dark side. Even though I am wearing a Journey to the Dark Side shirt, uh, I'm not really on the dark side, but I wanted to gain his trust and I also wanted to make it out of there alive. Now we're gonna go straight from Darth Vader to the Wookiee on base and Chewbacca. It says 30 minute wait, but it looks like there's one, two, oh, there's definitely way more people in line to meet Chewbacca. I mean, it's a better meet and greet. I mean, it's not a better meet and greet. It's a funner meet and greet. There's nothing really funny about meeting Vader. It's actually a very serious uh, encounter. So uh, Chewbacca is a little bit more lighthearted. There he is. Chewie, you're home. <laughs> I'm so excited to see you. Oh wow, it's nice to be back. Very fancy. Yeah, that's very cool. You know, can we just, uh, can I have a hug? I, I mean, <laughs> thank you. Seriously, that's awesome. Yeah, always the best. Yeah, oh yes. <laughs> very fancy. Well, I appreciate it. Yeah, and it's great to see you. Can we do a photo too? Yeah? Oh, all right, I'm in it. I like how you, I, I try to do like a, a, a chewy call, but I'm not really good. I think I sound like a bird. <laughs> that one's better. All right, you win. <laughs> we'll see you soon. <laughs> You're still my favorite. <laughs> Chewy was amazing. That was great. I really, really love meeting him. And like I said, between him and Sully, best huggers for me and Greece. And like I said, I mean, I like hugging the characters. I mean, I love him hugging like Mickey Mouse and stuff like that. But like them, it's just so awesome. When I don't know. That was great. I mean, I wish you can hug Darth Vader. I don't think he accepts hugs though. I think he just straight up says no. I mean, somebody should try. Try to go in for a hug on Darth Vader. I want to see what happens. Now it looks like the characters are coming back out over here by Disney Junior. There's Vampirina. Look at this. It looks like the characters are all coming back out now. The rain is gone. <laughs> oh. Well, that's fancy. While we were in Launch Bay meeting Vader and Chewie, it looks like we got the afternoon uh, Florida shower. Like, and we missed it. I feel like I'm the luckiest person in the world right now. Like, I am thrilled. All I see is just like puddles everywhere. And as soon as I walked out, I felt the change in humidity, but we missed the Florida afternoon shower. Oh, and now here comes Pluto too. That's really awesome. 
now that the Vader business is taken care of, I think maybe we'll grab something to eat, maybe a drink. Uh, I want to ride some rides, but after it rains, it always seems like everyone runs their attractions because, you know what I mean, they were basically hiding from the rain, so they run to the attractions afterwards. So for the next hour, the attraction wait times are going to be up a little bit, so I think we'll grab something to eat or maybe something to drink uh, and let it cool down or let it get back to normal a little bit. Ah, see what I'm talking about? As we were walking in, there was nobody in line for Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. And now look at it. That's usually what happens because, you know what I mean? Like, there's a big group of people. They all basically chic shelter, chic, chic shelter. And then uh, once the rain is over, they run to the attractions. I was trying to decide where I wanted to grab a quick bite from and there's not many quick service locations here at Hollywood Studios and I haven't eaten at ABC Commissary like very like often so they have some shrimp tacos there and I was thinking about getting some shrimp tacos. I'm on the shrimp like kick right now and I'm loving it. I'll tell you what, the ABC commissary really changed up their stuff a lot. I remember for a brief moment there, they were doing like dining reservations. Like they switched like to like sit down reservations and it was so strange. But now the menu is like a, a pretty good mix. They have all different uh, types of tacos and then they have some sandwiches and burgers. Let me show you. Oh yeah, they got a buffalo chicken grilled cheese, or a buffalo chicken grilled cheese sandwich, a chicken club sandwich. There is the pork tacos, and then they have a California burger, but I'm all about shrimp. I want the shrimp ones, and I mobile ordered, so it's ready, so we gotta head in. All right, we're gonna head right on in. I love coming into uh, ABC Commissary. They have some awesome things. Look, they have some props from Dancing with the Stars over here. They even have some props from the Connors right over there. And uh, we're gonna grab our food. I don't know if I'm gonna sit down and eat it here. I think I might actually take it over to baseline. I mean, I'm in uh, number two, number two. Oh, that's me. Seriously, these shrimp tacos look amazing. And it was only like $13. They give you two tacos, they give you rice and beans. I'm impressed. And here they are, the shrimp tacos. Look at them, they look really, really fancy. We got some mango salsa on there, and I can't believe it was only $13. And instead of sitting down in ABC Commissary, I brought it over to Baseline, so I'm excited. I'm gonna squeeze the lime in there, grab a little drink, a little shrimp taki taki, a little shrimp taco. All right, let's dive into these shrimp tacos now. Just gonna grab one right here. I can't wait to try the shrimp too, it looks pretty good. Oh wow, this looks good though, for real. I love it, it also comes with a mayonnaise, but I got it without the mayonnaise. You know, we don't need mayonnaise in life. Not on shrimp tacos. I'm all about the mango uh, salsa, but here we go. First bite. Oh, wow, that's good. That is very good. A little bit of spice, not too much. And I can't wait to try this rice, too. Get a little scoop of rice. And then maybe I'll put the rice on the tacos. There we go. Mmm, that is good. And of course I need to get the lime on there. I actually forgot it on my first bite, but I've just been obsessed with drenching everything in lime. Look, at it. we're gonna get the most of it. Get the beans. Get the beans! <laughs> Limey beans. Oh, uh, <laughs> oh, by the way, I met up with my friend Beth. Yeah, right here at Bayside. Limey beans. Limey beans. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I really do love the shrimp tacos. I mean, they're okay. They're like the best you can get for like a, a shrimp taco here at like Hollywood Studios. And the line just makes it better. Now that we got the shrimp taco business taken care of, I think we're gonna make our way over to Toy Story Land. I've been wanting to ride Slinky Dog Dash for a while and today seems like a nice day. Hopefully it doesn't rain though. Walking through Toy Story Land, you really can feel the heat. I know, I, I know we, all, like, we always talk about how there's no shade over here, but it is a super hot day today. And after the rainstorm, the humidity just rises. I'm, I'm excited to ride Slinky Dog Dash because that's a good way to cool off. We're just about to get on, but my favorite thing to point out whenever I come ride Slinky Dog Dash is all the other Slinky animals. I feel like- Cats. The cat, yes, that's what I was gonna say. <laughs> slinky cat. Slinky bird, they even have a slinky frog. I feel like they don't get enough attention. There's even a slinky worm. There's a snake. Oh wait, there's a slinky snake? A slinky a slinky snake? A slink. Does that sound funny? A slinky snake? Not to be confused with limey beans. Yeah, not to be confused with limey beans. But it's true. Look, you got a little uh, slinky rabbit right here. All these slinkies, they all get overshadowed by slinky dog. Yes, you 
Yeah. There's the slinky snake. A book for you to color. <laughs> slinky Dog Dash is one of my favorite rides. I just love it. I think it's a fun ride. And it's actually one of my favorite roller coasters. And a lot of people like to sit in the front, but I like to sit in the back. I like to ride in the back because I feel like when you go over that like first big drop, it feels like a little bit more uplifting. Like you feel like you're coming out of your seat a little bit more. Looks like here's our dog. Ooh, fancy, and we're doing the back row. Just the way I love it, little springy tail on there. This is the way. Bye-bye. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Look at that! <laughs> ah! <Ooh. laughs> ah! <laughs> Doesn't this cool you off? <laughs> ready for anything now. <laughs> oh, oh. the Tower of Terror. Seriously, that ride just cools you off so much. Seriously, Slinky Dog Dash really cools you off. Like, it's a hot day. Go ride Slinky Dog Dash. Like, just the breeze alone, it feels great. Hey, how are ya? Very fancy. But, like I said, it is so fun. And, uh, yeah, now I think we're just gonna move along. Figure out what else we wanna do. Walk through Toy Story Land. I am very excited for when Woody's Roundup, the barbecue restaurant, opens up. Are you excited for that too, Beth? Are you? I mean, it looks really good. I mean, the walls are there. We're, we're there. It's almost, I think. No announced. Yeah. And some barbecue. <laughs> yep. Hollywood needs that. Well, a little bit of a surprise, but since I'm here and I'm hanging out with my friend Beth, uh, you guys might have seen her before, she has Villains and Vice YouTube channel. We met up with some other friends and we got to talking and uh, we were looking to get something to eat and we checked and Topolino's had an open walk-up reservation. So since we're here at Hollywood Studios, I guess we're going to switch things up and we're going to go grab the Skyliner and head to the top of the Riviera and have a very fancy meal. So, kind of fun. I like mixing things up a little bit. Honestly, it's hard to pass up going to Topolino's and I'm actually more excited to go ride the Skyliner I feel like I haven't rode the Skyliner in months. So it's gonna be really fun And to be honest it got super busy here at Hollywood Studios The wait times are very very long like we waited a while to get on some of the rides, but holy moly It's too hot. It's like so hot out today. July in Florida is brutal. So a little Skyliner escape I think that sounds like the perfect plan. And on our way over to the Skyliner, we get to see the gigantic Baymax. Look at him up there, peeking over the top. I love Baymax, honestly. So we were, we're, you know, we were talking about character meet and greets and like hugging Chewbacca and Sully, but out of all the character meet and greets that have ever existed, now of course the Baymax one doesn't exist anymore, that was the best. Literally, a fluffy hug from Baymax, that was like the best thing ever. <laughs> Looks like there's nobody waiting to get on the Skyliner in the middle of the afternoon, and I'm excited. Oh, it looks like we're getting an unwrapped one, too. I remember when the Skyliners first opened up, people were afraid they were going to be too hot. Now you go and ride them to cool down. Yeah. Yeah, that was we're great. coming in hot, and also take a look at all the sleeping Skyliners over here. This is where they come to go to bed at night. <laughs> look at them all just sitting over there. Those lazy rascals. That's look at them. Seven o'clock. <laughs> Look at a whole bunch of Skyliners over there. 
Must be you and being honest. I always get nervous at this point right here. Like oh, really? Me too. Right? Okay, it stops. Like, can you imagine if it just... Oh, it just keeps going. Yeah. It has, um, it has happened. happened. <laughs> don't look behind. That's why I did this morning. Oh, yeah. Don't look behind. Oh, yeah. Don't look behind. It's even more They're coming alarm. in hot. It's even more alarm. They're coming in I am so excited that we're gonna be going to eat at Topolino's. It's such a beautiful view from up there. We're gonna be able to drink some drinks and have a great meal with an amazing view. And it's a, a fun uh, tur switch of events or turn of events. Also, I wish I can buy these pictures. Take the Skyliner, discover the world Epcot. Then they have Alani here. And then right here is Topolino's where we're about to go eat. Flavors of the Riviera. Ooh, we're having an we have a cocoa themed one. Passes because it just gives you a look at that. Yeah. Take it all in. Yeah. yeah. And we're not trying to enter, so I have to like, collect your belongings. Oh, like, here we go. The last time I stayed at Riviera, it was such an amazing experience. I got to stay in the tower, like the studio towers, and there's the smallest rooms on Disney property, but it was so amazing. And you got to see the fire I can only imagine like what it's like to stay there for like a 4th of July fireworks, because that's gotta be amazing. But right here are the tower studios in this little like rounded shape there. And they're the smallest rooms on Disney property. And they don't have a bed, they just have like a Murphy bed and that's it. You guys have to check the video. I'll, I'll put it in the description if you want to look at it. It's a great video, but it's amazing because then you get to see Epcot fireworks from there. And then of course this breeze right, right here is so amazing. Look at this. I love it. Peter Pan. And then you got Rapunzel over here. Very fancy. We have to go all the way up to the 10th floor to actually get the Topolinos, and uh, we're gonna head right up. I am so excited to be eating up here, and I think I'm actually gonna get the pasta this time. I've heard amazing things about the rigatoni. Just look at that. It's a good looking pasta there. And I just love this restaurant in general. It's very beautiful, very elegant. Definitely one that you have to take your hat off. Oh, we're sitting over here. Look at this, very fancy. Now that we're up here, let's take a look at the menu a little bit. And also, it's getting close to uh, sunset, so we might be able to see a beautiful sunset from outside and uh, maybe even some fireworks. I mean, who knows? We're just kind of winging it. They always have amazing drinks here. Like they've got the modern fashion, which is a modern twist to an old fashion. And I like that a lot. And then they've got some pretty good appetizers and some starters. They actually have an asparagus soup, which I've never had. I don't know if you can see that too much, but it's got a bunch of stuff that I'm really not too well with pronouncing. I know the quail egg and the carrot toodaloo, parmigiana and prosciutto, prosciutto. But as you said, just the dust. Just the dust. <laughs> just the dust. Just the dust. Yeah, you don't, you don't, you don't want the whole prosciutto, it's and like less than the sprinkle. Yeah, just, just the dusting. And then they also got some handcrafted pastas. They got rigatoni, which I hear is amazing. Lobster linguine, and then they have the fillet, the French veal chop. So I don't know. You know I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to think about it. I'm really excited to try the asparagus soup. I think I am gonna give it a go. And also, I wanna try the rigatoni, but I'm not too sure if I like the sauce. I think we're gonna have to uh, maybe try maybe substituting the sauce, or maybe I'll ask if I can have a little of the sauce just to give it a taste. You know what I mean? I decided on getting the modern fashion. Look, they have a Riviera Resort branded uh, ice cube. You know what's fancy when they got their ice cubes branded? I love this. I've had this drink before. It's very, very good. Very, very smooth. Well, cheers. cheers. <laughs> Bing. <laughs> yeah. Very, very fancy. I decided on getting the rigatoni, but I am going to get it with the red sauce. And the bread service has arrived. And I love the bread service here. Look at this. Look at the fancy little Riviera Resort. I love how everything's RR. I think you're supposed to take it like a shot. Oh, is that what it is? <laughs> <laughs> I'll do one if you do one. No. <laughs> Can you imagine? Sh shots of oil. Shots. <laughs> but it's, it, it is. It's really good bread. And it's fancy looking bread, too. Look at that. Oh, wait. Was I supposed to take the whole thing or are we supposed to pull those apart? 
<laughs> I think that's what's supposed to happen. I just take the whole thing. <laughs> Me and Beth basically just wishbone <laughs> some bread. We did. We wishboned it. Now that we got some bread service, I had to run to the restroom real quick. And when I got to the restroom, I saw something that was pretty cool and I wanted to show you guys, but I don't want to film in the restroom. But take a look at this. They actually uh, stamped their toilet paper too. I brought some out for you. Little uh, Riviera Resort on there. And also take a look out at this amazing view. Right there's Epcot Spaceship Earth. I love it. And this is the tower that I was talking about. It's so beautiful up here. And here is my pasta, my rigatoni. I ended up getting it with the chicken and the shrimp. And then they put the chicken on top because usually they cook it the way it is. But I got it with red sauce instead. So a little bit different. And it's got some broccolini in there and I cannot wait to try. I mean, this looks phenomenal. Like, this looks really, really good. I'm excited to try the shrimp too. You know, I, I told you before, I'm on a shrimp, shrimp kick little shrimp cake I had some shrimp tacos now I have some shrimp pasta so here we go first bite can't wait to try the new uh, rigatoni's that? <laughs> oh that's amazing wow the pasta is so good and I love the sauce that's amazing that is a really really good dish and like I said normally I would have get the filet from up here but I'm impressed my friend actually got the rigatoni the way that it comes, so I am going to give it a try just so that I know whether or not I would have liked the sauce. So here we go. You know, I probably would have eaten the sauce. Oh well. Well now I know next time. Next, next time I know. Now, even though I do like the way that it comes naturally, I have to say, I think I like the red sauce a little bit better. I mean, I, I just really enjoy this dish. And adding the shrimp to it, I mean, this is like, this is, this is some good, good food. Now it's time to try the shrimp, and these shrimp look amazing. Like this is, wait, you have a shell, uh, shellfish allergy. Yeah, let's just not get close. We can't get close later. No hugging, all right? <laughs> but here we go. We're going to try the shrimp. Wow. I have to say, I really do love the rapini. I had to say that a couple of times because I wanted to make sure I said it right. Because, you know what I mean? <laughs> I've never had rapini before. I would have just called it bro broccoli. And it's kind of like a broccoli. But it's very delicious. It's kind of like a broccoli spinach. Yeah, like a broccoli spinach. So I, I really do love the rap, rapini. It's very, it's very, very delicious. That rigatoni hit so well. So amazing. I'm so happy that I got it this time. I might order it the regular way next time just because I did enjoy it. But I did really like the moment the red sauce. And it's kind of fun to mix things up a little bit. And apparently it's a thing. Like when I asked uh, my waitress, she said, yeah, everyone, a lot of people do it all the time. So I'm not the only one at least. Oh. Oh, wonderful. Thank Enjoy. you so much. Oh, well, happy birthday. <laughs> happy birthday. <laughs> it was so nice. They actually brought out uh, some fresh Madeline. Madeline. I don't want to say Madeline's, but they're Madeline. And they look so cool on a little stick. It's like a cake pop. Oh, wow. Now I think we're gonna head outside so we can watch the sunset and maybe the fireworks. It's so beautiful out here though. Look at this. Oh my lord, it is amazing out right now. Like, breathtaking. Seriously, just take a look at how beautiful it is out here. Oh my lord. Look at that sunset happening right over there. And we're gonna be able to see the fireworks a little bit right here. Like we're gonna see them kind of like over the, uh, the building there a little bit, but man, this is beautiful. I could spend hours out here just kind of staring and watching the uh, Skyliner go back and forth and just, just living life. <laughs> it's amazing. 
I can try to zoom in and show you guys some of the amazing views from up here. You can see everything from Everest, Tower of Terror, Spaceship Earth, and I just love it. And honestly, there's this weird light on inside Expedition Everest that I don't even know what it's for. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it, but I'm gonna try to zoom in for you. Right there. Can you see to the right hand side there? That's that's, uh, that's Expedition Everest, and there's a light on inside the mountain. Then you can see the Tower of Terror, of course. And it's just so pretty. Earlier, I wasn't able to tell you guys, but I was meeting up with some friends, and uh, they have a channel too, Disney Pin Love. So make sure you guys check right. them out too. Get in on the ground floor. Yeah. <laughs> yep. And, and uh, it's his birthday. <laughs> well, happy birthday to me! It's yeah. been such a pleasure. Oh, it's uh, great. And then obviously, before I told you, Beth was here too, Villains and Vice. So make sure you guys check out both of their channels. It's 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 been a fun night, memorable night. Yeah. Friends, cheers. cheers. Hey! Yeah. Hey! Yeah. <laughs> Oompa! I love how they're pumping out the music for Harmonious, and you can also see some of the fireworks for Hollywood Studios too. A little bit of the center pot right here. Yeah, right there. But we're gonna just set it up and maybe do a little time lapse. Well, that was absolutely spectacular. What a way to close out the night. I love it. I love having days like this. We decided to head to Hollywood Studios because we wanted to see Darth Vader and Chewbacca. And then we ended up coming out to a fancy dinner with some friends and an amazing fireworks show. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye!